1997, Princess Di was killed after her car, going 60 miles per hour, hit a pillar inside a Paris tunnel. Diana was trying to avoid as many as 30 photographers chasing her on motorbikes. As she lay dying, waiting for an ambulance, the paparazzi continued to snap away. They took pictures of her as she bled to death. Two separate inquests later determined Diana's driver was impaired, combining alcohol with prescription pills, and perhaps her death could have been avoided had he not been speeding and had she been wearing her seatbelt. From the moment her engagement to Charles was announced, Princess Di was terrorized by the paparazzi, and it is received wisdom that she was killed by them. I believe that. I do believe the paparazzi killed Princess Di. But in all fairness, the paparazzi didn't order Diana not to wear her seatbelt or put her life in the hands of a chauffeur who thought it was prudent to engage in a high-speed chase with photographers through the streets of Paris while he was high on alcohol and prescription pills. Tuesday night, here in New York, Diana's youngest son, Harry, and his wife, Megan, were in Manhattan for the Women of Vision Awards at the Ziegfeld Ballroom, because that's what the world needs, more award shows. By Wednesday morning, splashed across the media were reports that the royal couple feared for their life, avoided a catastrophe. They reportedly, according to Harry and Meghan, they almost got killed in New York City during a two-hour high-speed car chase through the streets of Manhattan as they tried to avoid photographers in a scene reminiscent of the one that killed Harry's mom. Here in Manhattan, we were told that they came within inches of a fatal car crash. Now, I understand that Harry is afraid that the paparazzi is going to do to his family what they did to his mom. Uh, so Harry and Meghan's people put out reports that the paparazzi endangered not just the lives of Harry and Meghan, but New York City pedestrians, as the photographers, they said, were riding in cars, on, on motorbikes. They ran red lights and jumped curbs onto sidewalks. That's rush hour <laughs> in New York. What, what do you think, you're special? That's how, that's, how, that's how we roll in New York City. But apparently uh, they were upset because they were uh, driving on the sidewalk to catch up with their limousine. Uh, you know, this is New York City. And if the paparazzi were, in fact, riding on sidewalks, creating traffic jams, running red lights. I'm pretty certain the lives of the paparazzi were more in danger from angry New Yorkers than the pedestrians or Meghan and Harry were. Because that shit don't fly here in Manhattan, where the official slogan is, I'm walking here. So later on Wednesday, New York City police did confirm that yes, Photographers did get out of control, but we are now learning it wasn't a two-hour high-speed chase. Of course it wasn't, because that stuff doesn't happen. There's no way high speed in midtown Manhattan is like four miles an hour. Uh, it just doesn't happen. A after their event at the Ziegfeld, Harry and Meghan rode to a police precinct hopped out of their limo and made it safely back to the apartment they were staying at simply by being put into an ordinary cab which rode undetected by the paparazzi. So I am rooting for Harry and Meghan. I am. I think they're important. And I think Harry was dealt a set of cards and he's, I think he's a great man. And I think Meghan is, a, I think she's great. I think they're great. I do. Even though they're best friends with Tyler Perry, who runs a non-union studio in Georgia that is notorious for screwing over the writers' union. Tyler Perry 
no friend of the Writers Guild. So I do, personally, I, I, I think Meghan and Harry should sever ties with Tyler Perry. Uh, but here's the deal. Uh, Princess Di was hounded by the paparazzi. And the paparazzi are evil. But she didn't wear her seatbelt, and her driver was drunk, and he was speeding. And her last words were, faster, Doty, faster. There was some thrill of escaping the paparazzi. I'm not passing judgment on anybody. I have no right to pass judgment. I'm just throwing this out here because uh, I don't understand this game, this cat and mouse game with the paparazzi. If you don't want to be photographed by the paparazzi, and again, I've never, <laughs> nobody wants to take my picture except the occasional mugshot when I'm arrested, but that's a whole other story. If you don't want the cat and mouse game, maybe don't stay at the Ritz-Carlton. Uh, maybe put on a wig, dress like a schlump, borrow my clothes, and I can assure you, you'll be invisible. Nobody will recognize you. Again, it must be horrible being trailed by photographers. Uh, and I'm rooting for Harry and Meghan. I have tremendous respect for them. It's terrifying. His idiot father, his craven father, disowned him. Harry has to pay for his own security detail. Can you imagine a father doing that to a son? Charles has left Harry on his own and his, his own grandkids and daughter-in-law. Security, there are no crazy people in America. You're on your own. Harry has to find his own security, and that's really expensive. So I, I just don't understand uh, what's going on. Something's, something isn't right. Uh, they should, they have plenty of money now. They should figure this paparazzi thing out. I, I, I read the book, read the book. It's incredible the way they're not left alone. It, it, it's incredible. Uh, I, it just, it, I don't understand it, why this can't be solved. I, I don't. Um, I don't know. It, it seemed, in New York City, we, I don't think we have this problem. We have the UN here, uh, world leaders, and the president, wealthy billionaires and movie stars come here all the time. This stuff, it doesn't seem to happen in New York City. People can come to New York City, really famous people come here and they can be left alone for some reason. I don't know. Is it that hard to avoid the paparazzi in New York? I read Spare and it's incredible what the helicopters and the paparazzi are, are capable of. Uh, listen, let me, let me make a suggestion here. Uh, my sister and I were talking, and she lives in Teaneck, New Jersey. Let me just try this. Next time, Harry and Meghan, if you're watching, next time you have to attend a an event in New York, stay with my sister in Teaneck, New Jersey, and, and we'll drive <laughs> you into the city in the Corolla and, and drop you off. Nobody will notice you. A and when the event is over, don't go out the front door, go out the back wearing my clothes and jeans, and, and we'll be there. We'll pick you up in the Corolla, we'll drive you back to Teaneck, we'll even pay for the toll. I don't know, I, I, I don't understand why it's so hard to outwit, to outwit a bunch of maggots. The paparazzi, they're maggots who can only put food on their tables by photographing celebrities. It seems like it shouldn't be that hard to outsmart these morons. I don't know. Then again, I've never been hounded by the paparazzi. So I don't know. I don't know.